I praise and thank God for this beautiful opportunity God has given us to come in his presence this morning time. For our meditation today let's turn to 1 John chapter 2 verse 1 and 2. My little children these things write I unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin we have an advocate with the Father Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only but also for the sins of the whole world. Today we are meditating upon the next sacrifice and that is the sin offering which is the most important of all the offerings. Sin offering is different from the trespass offering as it is brought as an atonement for the offender and is brought on every occasion. But the trespass offering is brought before the Lord for a particular sin committed by the offender. The sin offering symbolized general redemption but the trespass offering represented a particular sin but the person can bring this offering only when he commits sins through ignorance against any of the commandments of the lord no offering can substitute for the sin he has committed knowingly and this offering reminds that if we are not careful everyone is prone to sin and we need to remember that though we have sinned through ignorance an innocent animal has to bear the penalty of our sin god says if the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people that means even the anointed ones can sin if they are not careful in their walk the only perfect priest and person in this world is our Christ in whom i have the assurance that through his sacrifice i have been saved and the importance of this sin is that he has to confess or repent for his sin before it is offered when a person commits sin he has to bring the sacrificial animal and lay his hands upon it so as he puts all his infirmities upon the animal and it bears the penalty of his sin the person has to slay the animal so that the struggle and pain of the dying animal will have an impact upon the person and help him to understand how serious his sin is the sprinkling of the blood is also different on different occasions for the priest The blood collected has to be sprinkled before the veil of the sanctuary seven times before the Lord. Then on the horns of the altar of sweet incense and the remaining has to be poured at the bottom of the altar of the burnt offering. When the sacrifice is for the whole congregation the blood is sprinkled before the veil then applied on the horns of the altar that is before the lord and the remaining has to be poured at the bottom of the altar of the burnt offering and the blood of the sacrifice for the common man has to be applied on the horns of the altar of the burnt offering and the remaining has to be poured put at the bottom of the altar as i mentioned the different places where the blood has to be applied so that we know the areas where the person who has committed sin needs to get reconciled for the priest who is serving before the most holy place he will lose his communion with the holy god through the sin that he has committed so he will be reconciled through the blood of the innocent sacrificial animal The blood sprinkled upon the altar of the sweet incense shows the broken communion with God in prayer. Remember, sin will not give us the confidence to go into the presence of the Lord. And the time spent in communion with the Lord in prayer. The blood applied on the horns of the burnt offering shows that until and unless the person is reconciled with the Lord, the burnt offerings will not be accepted by the Lord. Whenever we come to offer any sacrifices before the Lord it reminds us that we offer it by the virtue of the sacrificial blood of Christ. 
the sprinkling of the blood seven times shows perfection and completion that means once and for all it was the same with the blood of jesus christ the sacrifice of jesus was once and for all for all the sinners a perfect sacrifice that needs no replacement and that blood of christ is the basis of reconciliation between us sinners and holy god after the blood is applied and the fat burnt upon the altar the remains of the animal is taken out of the camp and burnt there and it was true with christ the lamb of god when he bore our sins and suffered without the gate he bore the reproach of our sins outside the camp and let us examine ourselves are we bound by the love of christ and are ready to pour ourselves completely before the lord or is there still the wall of partition between us and the holy god do we have the assurance that the sacrifice of the perfect lamb of god is enough for my salvation let us not depend upon our works that seems as good to go into the holy presence of the lord let us humble ourselves and cling unto christ our savior dwell in the sweet communion with the lord may the good lord help us for that let's pray Father we praise you and thank you. Thank you Lord for this opportunity as we meditate upon the seriousness of the sin offering. Thank you Lord for the perfect offering that has been offered in our place. Thank you Lord for restoring our fellowship with the creator. Lord it's all because of your grace. Help each one of us. Help each one of us master to love you more. and be careful in our walk sin stands at the door and its desire is there to have us help us to be careful may your name be glorified lead us and guide us in jesus name we pray amen let us be careful in these days as we walk and may our life be a blessing for others and may heaven be pleased by our walk may god bless each one of us our lord is coming very soon maranatha